Thank you. Welcome back to True Talk. You're watching a show of psychics. And last but certainly not least, everyone, please welcome George Corey. Hi, everybody. Hey, John. Thank you, George, for joining us once again. Thank you for inviting me. It's a First pleasure. time really... in this studio. Yeah. We appreciate that. And tell us a little bit about how you work. Okay, I'm a psychic medium and also an angel messenger. I communicate with angels and departed loved ones. Um, I had my first experiences very early on, a visitation from an angel when I was about five years old. I just want to explain to you a little bit about how I communicate so we'll get the max out of it. If I come to you and you understand what I'm saying, I want you to say yes, nice and loud. If I come to you with something, you have no idea what I'm talking about, you know it's wrong, say no, but you're going to say it very quietly. <laughs> so nobody can hear you. Third thing is if I say something to you and you don't understand, please don't say no. Say I don't understand. The reason is that very often, about 95% of the time, if you don't understand something, I can go to spirit and give you an avenue to pursue to investigate it. And that kind of evidence is really, really powerful. And also, please know, I like to fool around and have a good time. I would never embarrass any of you publicly. Private reading, that's a different story. <laughs> you find out about all your lovers and who you owe money to and everything. But in, in a public setting, please, please relax. OK, well, we appreciate that. Everyone give them a round of applause for encouragement. Yeah. Now let me ask you, George, have you been doing this all your life as well? I would say about 30 years. I had my first, I'm 26, by the way. <laughs> I had a visitation from an angelic being at five years old, and then gradually over the years, you know, things accelerated. I went to Catholic school. I didn't know it was not okay to deliver messages to the nuns from their deceased relatives. <laughs> so on any given day, you would hear, Mr. Corey, you're going straight to hell. You're in league with the devil, yes, sister. And you're gonna amount to no good. Well, on that note, George, let's take some audience okay. questions so we can get a bunch in. Who had one over here? Did you have one? Oh. Yes? <laughs> you, you can ask me if you want me to connect with a deceased loved one. I will do my best. I can't promise that we'll always make a connection or just a general question about guidance, something you want to do in your life. Well, I have a question because I, I, I know that I have a guardian angel and I've named her Juby and, and she's all wore out and her hair sticks out like that and on her little gown there's all patches and there's grease and she's been through hell. Wait, wait, so you see her? I, I think I've seen Juby and I named her Juby and and um, I want to apologize to her for all I've put her through all these years. <laughs> it's been a wild ride. You know, she's been a bad girl. You. No, she's but I've been through some pretty strange things. And she's had, to, by the nape of the neck, took me right up and got me through these. You know, we all have a, tell me your name, please. Judy. Judy? Mm -hmm. Hi, Judy. We all have a guardian angel, everybody. Even those of you that are not so good. <laughs> she's talking to me about gardening. About what? Gardening. Are you a gardener? I, this will be the first year I've not had a garden since I was knee high to the Okay, grass. she's really, also, I see another angel, Archangel Ariel, who governs the earth and nature. And they're both saying, please go do something, even if it's a window garden for this year. It's, that it's your element. I love gardens. Are you going to go back to having a garden? I don't have a place to put a garden. How about a window garden? little I, small thing. I'm not sure. Usually, um, I've always had a garden, and I moved to Arizona for a short length of time. And I even had three tomato plants out there with an old blue tarp over them so the sun wouldn't scorch them. So okay, Here, here's the thing. They're talking about you are, nature for you is very important. Going for walks in nature, if you can't do the garden, saying it will help you to feel healthier and more rooted and grounded. You've, you've, got, you, you've got what I would call the inner sight. You can see into people and the situations. But in order to maximize that gift, you also have to be grounded. So the, the gardening for you, being connected to the earth, is, is so important and so valuable. It certainly is. Thank may, you. may I ask you who Sarah is? I have a, I have a niece named Sarah. A niece? Yeah, and um, uh, it's 
<laughs> it's funny you should ask. Um, 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 <laughs> I, I was uh, thinking in, in my mind something today, an incident, and um, when people judge and they criticize other people, and it had to do with um, a church situation, not that I'm even going to church or anything like that, and I likened it to um, Abraham, who is the father of all nations and steps at the right hand of God. However, he was going to sell Sarah for jewels. But yet he was forgiven from that inequity that he had. But Sarah, Sarah, biblical Sarah, yes. today was right her. up front with me when I was trying to explain to somebody, we all are sinners, we all do bad things. Even the people sitting at the right hand of God, but he is so forgiving that even though he's going to sell his wife out, <laughs> Sarah. J Judy, if I could just mention, what I'm hearing from your guardian angel is that your niece, Sarah, is going through a challenging time now emotionally. Do you understand that? Say I, yes, if you do. Yes. Yes. No, do you, uh, do you understand? I, don't... I understand what you're saying. Okay. They're asking you to just say some prayers for her. You can send your guardian angel to hers. They want to help. So there might be something going on maybe that she doesn't know about. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like she's ha having challenges from, uh, I, I hear peer pressure, okay? okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank we you. Do get Many blessings to you. to you. Hi, what's your name? Brian Roosevelt. Okay, what would Michael? you like to ask? Brian Roosevelt. Brian, hi, yeah. Brian. Hi. Um, back in December, I started doing uh, music, and as of recently, just started doing some shows with a couple other people. Um, I was wondering where you see progression there. Can I just ask you, because when you gave your name, I heard Michael. Who is Michael to you? You have a Mike or a Michael. Again, when I get names, it could be living or deceased, friend or family. That would probably be my uncle. And he is just, I just need to know, is he living or deceased? He's dead. He's dead. He's gone. Are you aware of him having musical ability or a love and appreciation of music? Actually, he used to play the piano. Okay. He's coming through to basically act as a guide for you in this, and he really wants to help. Please understand that when our deceased loved ones pass, they don't all of a sudden become all-seeing and all-knowing. If Uncle Harry was not an Einstein while he was here, he's not going to be an Einstein on the other side <laughs> unless his last name was Einstein. But here, Brian, I feel that your Uncle Michael really wants to come through to help you with the music. With okay, I've got that, sir. He's saying that you have the talent. That's not a question. The thing that you need the help with is the um, marketing, promotion. You understand this? Right. Say yes. Yes. Loud. So, okay. Just no, because okay. I want it for those, of, those who can't see Brian here to be able to hear the response. So all you have to do, just think of him ask for some help, and know that he will be there. On the other side, they have a version of the internet. So if he doesn't have the answer, seriously, where do you think it came from? If they don't have the answer, they will go and get it for you. And he is really, he's really there for you. Right. Um, because I, I've, I've actually helped out another rap artist before, and um, he kind of screwed me over on a, a few deals. And uh, it's just why I kind of wanted to know. So call on your guardian angel. He, he will help you to sharpen that intuition, to know when trouble is coming, and definitely call on, on your uncle, Michael. Okay. He, he will help you with this, to know if, you know, to have that sense. You already have it, but I feel that you may be a little too eager at that period. It's actually a blessing that that happened to you, because now you're gonna, your senses are going to be sharpened. Right. And you, you're, you're going to do very well. Invite me to your release party, seriously, would you? Oh, of course. Okay. Front row seats. Thank you. There you go. Good luck with that. Thank you. Thank you. Stand on up. I did promise you. What's your name? My name is Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Hi. Can you tell me who is with me today? Besides me. Besides, right? besides John? The answer is no. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, do you have a specific person in this situation where we're trying to get yes. as many readings in? That would take me time to tune in, yes. and I don't mean to be brusque no, that's, with you. that's quite all right. Tell me who you want to My contact. brother. And he's he has... my brother with me. He has passed. Okay, and give me his first name. Bert his Edward. first name is Irwin. And what did they call him? Did he have a nickname? <laughs> the Rat. Okay. <laughs> that's our last name is Rat. Yeah, no, I'm... 
Yeah, I do feel him. Um, he's, I really like this guy. He's got a good sense of humor. You understand that? Oh, yes. A practical joker? Oh, yes. Okay. So, I've got that. Thank you. Are you aware of his presence? The reason I'm asking yes. this is it comes through around your house. Oh, yes. And also in the car when you are driving. Yes. Yes. And he's saying that he, he, I don't know if you're aware of how much now he loves you. I, I just feel tremendous love and affection for yes. you. Can you, can you feel yes. that? Yes. Um, yes. And I, I will tell you that the reason I asked about my brother and the reason I'm getting a little emotional, excuse me, this is not me. No, it's okay. It's okay. I don't do this. <laughs> it's okay. Is that you channeled him when you came in and I saw him on the screen through you. He does this. Now, I want to also say, my brother did not believe, so I always say, na 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 <laughs> Because I know that he's with me. Could, could I just... And he doesn't believe, he didn't believe. Can I just say one, one thing quickly? And I'm saying this with great respect for you. you. You're a great lady, I can tell that. You have a wonderful heart. He's talking about, the, the reason why he's coming around so frequently now... <laughs> you see what I mean? He's I just want to check my know. pulse, make sure I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about you going through a time recently where it's been up and down, where you've been dealing with discouragement. Does this make sense yes. to you? Yes. Okay. He is here to help you. Again, just as I said with Brian, you, just need, you don't need to do any formal prayers. You don't have to face east or nail on a rug. You just call, think of them and ask them for help with what you, in plain English. Okay, and just know that he, I, I hope that you can feel his presence because oh, I'm yes. feeling just tremendous love and affection yes. for you. So may I leave him with you? Yes, thank right, you. Thank you so much. much. Thank you, Cheryl. Nice meeting you. Have a day. Come on down.